Alright, first one, alright? Question 5 on a 12D. If, uh. What's a 12E? Okay, sorry, 12E, excuse me. Okay, if uh, dy dx equals y over x, find the value of x when y equals 21. Okay, so how you do these is very simple. You want the x over the x, you want the x and the dx over one side, and you want the y and the dy over the other side. So cross multiply the y down and the dx up. So what you're going to get here is 1 over y dy equals 1 over x dx. Now, what happens next is the following. You integrate both sides. Now, when you integrate both sides, it's important that you match up the, va the limits, okay? I want you to find the value of a... Uh, so I want you to find the value of when if y equals 3 when x equals 1 find the value of x when y equals 21 okay so what we're going to do here is the following okay we're going to let the top limit be y top limit be x because you want to find y in terms of x what we know is that when y is 3 x is 1. What you do is you match up the limits equal to each other, okay? Now we're going to go about integrating. Now what's ln, what's, when you integrate 1 over y you get? ln y, 3 to 1, or sorry, y to 3, okay? So ln y, y and 3, and the other side's going to be, anybody? ln x. And that's going to be x and 1. Now, what we're going to get is ln y minus ln 3 equals ln x minus ln 1. What is ln 1? ln 1 is 0. ln y over 3 is ln y divided by 3. The rules of logs equals ln x. This therefore must mean x equals y over 3. The whole point of the question was find the value of x when y is 21. When y equals 21, x equals 21 over 3, x must equal 7. The following. Solve the y dx equals 2x bracket 1 minus y squared if y equals 1 when x equals 0. Excuse me guys, video. Okay. When you get going, right, well, the first thing you need to do is you need to get the x's over one side and you want dy on top and dx on top. So that means that the dx has to go this way. The one over square root of one over y squared goes over your side, so it's gonna be one divided by the square root of one over y squared. And then it's gonna be equal to two x dx. Okay? Next step, put in your limits. Let's see how the limits match up. The limits match up by putting when y equals 1, x equals 0. y and x equals 0. x goes on top, y goes on the top. You just have to make sure they're matching the, the same upper limit and lower limit. Next thing, integrate. Now, when we integrate, uh, excuse me a moment, when we integrate 1 over square root of 1 over y squared, okay? But well, that turns out to be a sine inverse y. It's in your tables. Sine inverse y. And that's going to be from y to 1. Okay. Next part is uh, integrate 2x and we get x squared from x to 0. So we're going to get a sine inverse y minus sine inverse 1 equals x squared minus 0 squared. Next thing we're going to get. Does anybody know what the sine inverse uh, sine inverse 1 is? 90. Pi, 90 or pi over 2. We only use radians here, okay? We want to get y in terms of x because we want to figure out what is the want to find the y value in terms of x, okay? 
So set solve. So you're always going to solve. If you're asked to solve the y dx, the answer is y in terms of x. If you're asked to solve the yes dt, it's s in terms of t. Top one in terms of bottom one. Now, we're going to get sine inverse y minus pi over 2 equals x squared. Move the pi over 2 to your side. Sine inverse y equals x squared plus pi over 2. Bring this sine inverse over to your side. y equals sine bracket x squared plus pi over 2. Alright, and that's your answer for that one. Step 1. Bring y over x to your side. dy dx ends up to be y over x plus 1 over x. dy dx therefore is y plus 1 all over x. Cross multiply, bring the y over 1 down and the dx up. So we're going to get 1 divided by y plus 1 dy equals 1 over x dx. Let's look at this and we can say okay do our limits x y when x is 4 y is 0. We next have to do a substitution or basically figure out what integral we're using. The one on the right is easy it's ln x from x to 4. The one on the left however we can use this part here. So we can say basically it's ln y plus 1. ln y plus 1 close bracket again y to 0. Now, going to have the following. We're going to have ln y plus 1 minus ln 0. Oh, sorry, ln1 because it's ln0 plus 1 equals ln x minus ln4. ln y plus 1. Uh, ln1 is 0, isn't it? Yeah. So it's going to be ln y plus 1. ln0 is 0. That equals ln x over 4. And what we're going to do next is, we're going to know that uh, y plus 1, therefore equals x over 4, therefore y equals x over 4 minus 1, that's the answer to it, okay?